Hey guys, and welcome to another episode of Crochet. My name is Jeremy, and I'm super excited about this episode um, because I get to teach you guys how to make pine cones. Yes, and uh, and I just love these. I think they're great for Christmas and you know for everything. Uh, you know, to hang on the tree or hang around the house or just put in a little bowl. They just look so incredible. The holidays are right around the corner and I just love these for that time of year. Uh, so let's go ahead and jump right in. If you haven't already, please like and subscribe and uh, let's get to making a pine cone. All right, guys, as promised, here is the crochet video for the acorns. I'm going to teach you how to make these acorns right here. The skinny one and the little medium sized one right here. They're so cute. I just love these. Um, so the first one I'm going to teach you how to make is going to be this long skinnier uh, pine cone like this. It's so cool. I just love this. Um, what you're going to need today to do that is you're going to need some yarn. And today I have sugars and cream. And it is a size four yarn um, woven. And uh, this yarn you can get at, um, you can get at Joann's. And this color is jute, right? Yep, this color is jute. So um, I'm gonna be also be using today this yarn right here. It's the same sugar and cream, um, size four, uh, but it's a different color and I forgot what this color was because I threw away the wrapper and I don't know what the color is, but it's all the same <laughs> as far as like uh, being, you know, the, the size yarn and everything. So I'm just gonna put this right there and um, we are going to go ahead and get started. I'm using a four millimeter hook today, um, four millimeter hook. And it's a small hook and it's a small yarn. Um, so I will zoom in as much as possible to show you guys how to do this. Um, you will be needing later on, um, it's a darning needle, I believe it's called, but it, I call it a yarn needle. You can get these at Joann's or anywhere. And if you go in and ask them a yarn needle or, you know, they'll know exactly what you're talking about. Um, but this is for the end to weave in the ends whenever you get there. Uh, and, um, yeah, and just have a cute little pair of scissors on hand too. Uh, I love these. Um, and if you come across this, this is great. I love keeping my scissors in here. It's, it's a glass case that I found at like Walgreens or something. I can't remember. It's like Walgreens or Walmart or whatever. If you find these, grab one because it's so cute. You can put your tape measure in here, your uh, needles, your, your little scissors, everything that you need is going to be right in here. I just love these things. Um, I looked for them on Amazon and I couldn't find any. So if you see one like that, grab it. Um, it's so much fun. Okay, so today um, what we're going to need to do is we're going to need to make a magic ring or a magic circle. And um, in my last video, I just showed you how to do that. So um, it's really simple how to do it. Uh, I'm going to do a magic ring. So you want to just lay the yarn across your hand like that, like so. Um, you're going to wrap it twice around your finger. Now this is just like doing a, uh, a slip knot. Uh, for my very first video on how to crochet, um, I teach you how to do a slip knot just like this. So this is just tying a slip knot where you take this first piece of yarn here, you pull it over that second piece of yarn, just like so. And then you take that second piece of yarn and you pull it up and over and off of your finger. Now, if you take um, the yarn and you pull on it a little bit, it will make a little knot there. Um, uh, and so that's what you want to happen. You wanna make a little slip knot like this. Now you want to completely turn this over to where the tail is on the right-hand side and the yarn leading to your ball of yarn is gonna be on the left-hand side here. Um, so what you wanna do is you wanna get yourself ready and you're gonna to want to take your hook, um, putting the loop on the bottom like that, and you're gonna to want to hold on to the loop there, but you're gonna to wanna to go through this loop. You're gonna to wanna to yarn over, and you're gonna to want to kinda of watch that tail there, 
and pull it through that circle. So you got a little bit of, uh, you got a, a loop on your hook now. So what you want to do now is you want to do a slip stitch, which is yarning over and just coming right through that, that, um, that loop that was on your hook. Now you have a magic circle. So now what you want to do is this pattern calls for doing six single crochets in the magic ring. So what you want to do is to do that, you want to go through the hole, the magic circle, the magic ring. You want to go through that um, and you're going to want to yarn over, grab that yarn, pull it through, and you'll have two loops on your hook there. So what you want to do is you want to go ahead and yarn over and pull it through one and two of those loops, just like that. That's one uh, single crochet. Now this tail kind of got twisted, so I'm just going to pull it through there. And I'm going to pull it back like this, because this is like getting kind of silly here. Um, and what you want to do now is you want to do the second single crochet into the magic ring. So you go through the magic ring, yarn over, grab your yarn, pulling it back through that magic ring. And then you're going to want to yarn over and pull through both loops. That is two. And then you're going to want to do it again. So that's going through the magic ring, yarning over, pulling it through, and yarning over and pulling it through those two loops that are on your hook. Let's do it again, because that's three. We go through the magic circle, yarning over, pulling it back through the magic circle. You have two, yarn over, pull it through those two. So that's through the magic circle, yarning over, pulling it through, back through the magic circle. You have two, yarning over, pulling it through both of those. Let's see, and we have one, two, three, four, five. We need one more. So that's through the magic circle, yarning over, pulling it through, back through, and then you're gonna yarn over and pull it through those two. And that's six. Now, the, the awesome thing is, is that when you take this, what you have here, and you pull on that tail, that's going to close this circle up like that. So just kind of play with it a little bit. And so what you want to do is you want to find your first little area here. As you can see, it has a little V going on right here. So that is what you're going to want to work into. And you're going to do two single crochets in the next five stitches. So two single crochets in the next five stitches. So let's go ahead and do two single crochets. So we're going to go through both of those loops right here. Now it's such a small yarn. It's like a little difficult to get through. There we go. So we're going to yarn over, we're going to pull it through once. We're going to yarn over, pull it through those two. Now we're going to go back through that hole, yarn over, pull it through that. Now something that I forgot to tell you guys, which is so important. I can't believe I just, I forgot to tell you guys about this. Um, what you're gonna need is a marker. So you want to mark where you started. So I'm gonna count back two because I just did these two. So that's one, two. So I wanna mark right here. That is the beginning or the ending of your project. So that way, whenever I work around the circle, I know where I started at. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna keep going. I'm going to go ahead and go through both of those pieces of, uh, both of those loops there that makes a little V. I'm gonna yarn over, I'm gonna pull it through. See guys tight. Um, and then you're gonna yarn over, pull it through those two. And you're gonna go back through that hole. You're gonna yarn over, pull it through those two. 
yarn over, pull it through those two to make a, a single crochet. Now we're gonna go to the next one, which is right here. I'm going to insert my hook. I'm gonna grab that yarn, pull it through, do my first single crochet, go back through that hole, pull it through, do my second cro uh, single crochet, and I'm going to find the next one, which is right here. I'm going to go through those two loops. I'm going to yarn over, I'm going to pull it through, and I'm going to do a single crochet, and that's going back through that same hole. I'm going to yarn over, I'm going to pull that through, I'm going to do another single crochet, and then I'm going to go to the next one, which is this right here. I'm going to go through that, those two loops. I'm going to pull it back through, and I'm going to do a single crochet, go back through that same, uh, that same hole there. I'm going to yarn over, pull it through, do another single crochet. And now this is my last two loops right here to go through my last two loops right here to go through where I put my marker. So I wanna count back to make sure that there is 10, um, that there's 10 of the uh, stitches here. So I'm gonna count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. This little tiny one right here that makes 10. So, um, and it says on the pattern to single crochet or uh, uh, single crochet in the next stitch so just one single crochet in the next stitch so we're going to go through that those two loops we're going to yarn over we're going to pull it through and we're going to yarn over and we're going to do a single crochet into that one now what i want to do is is see my marker right here i want to take this marker off right there and i'm going to move it to the last uh, crochet that I just did. So that last stitch. So that's how I move my marker. So it's on the, the 11th crochet. That's where my marker is gonna go. Now, since I have a really tiny little uh, crochet right there, the two loops that I'm gonna have to crochet into, it's gonna be a little difficult, but I made it a little tight there. So what we wanna do is, um, we want to work in the back loops only. Uh, and we're going to do rounds three through seven, single crochet in each stitch around. So we're going to single crochet in the back, back loops only. So the back loop is, as you can see here, there's the two, right? So the back loop is the one in the back. So here, front loop, back loop there. So what we're going to do is, we're going to go into this back loop right here very carefully. I'm gonna yarn over, I'm gonna pull it through and just do a single crochet. So do a single crochet right there. Pull it through those two loops. Now this is the back loop here. See, front loop, back loop. So I'm gonna go into that back loop, I'm gonna yarn over and I'm gonna pull it right through. So I'm gonna go ahead and go into this back loop here, yarn over, pull it through, go ahead and do a single crochet, go to the next one, front loop, back loop, front loop, back loop. I'm gonna go into that back loop, Front loop, back loop. Go into that back loop. And I'm gonna do this all the way around. go and then once I get to this 11th 
loop here, right here, this 11th stitch. I'm gonna go into the back loop. I'm going to yarn over, I'm gonna pull it through, do a single crochet. And then what I'm gonna do is, I'm going to take this marker off and I'm gonna put it through this stitch right here, right where the hook is at. And I'm gonna go ahead and move my marker into that stitch and I'm gonna close it up. And then what we're gonna do is, we're gonna start all over again. So I'm gonna find the first uh, stitch here, the, the little V, that's the front loop, that's the back loop. I'm gonna go into the back loop and I'm gonna do a single crochet. Now we're going to do rows three through seven like this. There should be 11 stitches on your uh, project right now. So that was, uh, we just did uh, row three. So this is row four. So let's go ahead and keep a count of how many rows that we're doing. And we did row three. Now we're moving on to row four. So I marked that down. Um, and we want to do up to the seventh row. So that's going to be three, four, five, six, seven. We're going to do five rows of this through the back loop only. And um, be careful because your work is going to turn in like this. It's going to make like a little bowl. So whenever you're working, make sure that you turn your work out like that and you find the, the loops that you're going to be working into that make the little V. So um, let's go ahead and do uh, four more rows because we just did the first one. So we're going into the second one. Um, this is the fourth row. So let's go ahead and do the back loop only. And I'm going to go ahead and fast forward through this. So if you guys want to just pause it, um, I'm going to go ahead and do my next, uh, my, my next, uh, few rows and I will pick it up there. Okay. So now what we want to do is once we get to this point where we, um, are on our seventh row, um, we want to turn this bad boy inside out. So let's see here. There we go. Get a little finagling, but we want to turn it inside out to where you have like these little stripes going through the project. See that? These little stripes. You want that. That's really important and it'll become more important as the uh, as you go on. So we're going to take this and we're going to single crochet two together. And then we're going to single crochet and next three stitches. So the way that you join, the way that you join two stitches together is you're going to go, since it's back loop only, you're going to go just in the back loop, through that back loop like that. You're going to yarn over, you're going to pull it through. Now you want to just leave these as is on your hook. You're going to go to the next stitch here. You're going to go through that back loop. You're going to yarn over, you're going to pull it through like this, and then you're going to yarn over and you're going to pull it through all three stitches. And that is single crocheting two together. Um, so that was going through the back of one stitch. Here, let's do it again. Okay, so what you want to do is you want to find your back stitch when you single crochet two together. You're going to go through your back stitch here. You're going to yarn over, pull it through. You have two loops on your hook. You're going to go to the next stitch. You're going to go through the back loop. You're going to yarn over. You're going to pull it through. You're going to have three loops on your hook. And then you're going to single crochet, go through all three loops. And that is single crocheting two together. Now it said, the pattern says two uh, single crochet in next three stitches. Now this is all back loop only. So we're going to go 
through the back loop. We're gonna single crochet. One, two, three. Okay, and then we're going to single crochet two together again. So that's through the back loop, finding that back loop, through the back loop, yarning over, pulling it through. You'll have two loops on your hook. You're gonna to go to the next stitch. You're going to go through that back loop. You're gonna yarn over, you're gonna pull it through. You'll have three loops on your hook. So you just wanna yarn over and pull it through. One, two, I think my yarn split a little bit. There we go, three. Okay, now we're going to, uh, we're going to single crochet three. So that's finding that back loop. Going into that back loop there. That's one, two, and three. Now what we're gonna do is with this last um, stitch here, this last stitch that we got here on our with with our little marker is we're going to sing, single crochet in this last stitch um, back loop only so let's find that back loop there we go got the back loop we're going to yarn over pull it through and then yarn over those two and pull it through pull it through those two loops now what we want to do is we want to take this marker out right here and put it through this uh, this stitch right here at the at the base of my hook, and put that on. Now, shortly you're going to be needing some fiber fill, which is just this fluffy stuff right here, um, because you're going to need to stuff your uh, your pine cone in the center. And this, this you can get it uh, at, um, at Joann's or Michael's or, it's really cheap. So um, you will be needing some of that stuff. Uh, and then what we're gonna do next is, we're going to single crochet in each stitch around. So we're just gonna go ahead and we're gonna single crochet uh, back loop only. So that's going through the back loop, yarning over. Back loop, yarn over. Oops, my yarn split. Back loop. Now you should have nine stitches in total right now going around your project. Back loop. Go through this back loop. And then we're in our last stitch. So what we want to do is we want to go through the back loop again of that stitch. Yarn over, pull it through, do one more single crochet. And then we're going to take our marker off. And we're going to pull it through, put it through that, that stitch there, through both those loops. 
And now what we're gonna wanna do here is um, we're gonna want to go ahead and single crochet two together. You know, if you wanted to, you could stuff your pine cone right now if you really wanted to. Um, I just use a, a, a pen, honestly, like a ballpoint pen to stuff, uh, stuff my um, pine cone. So why don't you go ahead and stuff your pine cone right now? Okay, guys. So once you have stuffed your um, stuffed your pine cone here, what we're going to want to do is we're going to want to single crochet two together. So we're going to go through the back loop of the first one here. We're going to pull that through. Then we're going to go to the next uh, uh, stitch. We're going to go through that back loop. We're going to yarn over. We're going to pull it through. There's three loops on your hook. You're going to want to go through one, two, and three. Then you're going to want to single crochet into these two. So that's single crochet into this one. We're going to single crochet into the next back loop. And then we're going to uh, single crochet two together again. So we're going to go through the back loop here. And then we're going to go through the next back loop since we're single crocheting two together. And this can be kind of tricky, as you can see. Um, so let's see here. Let's go through that back loop. There we go. And there will be three loops on your hook. All you want to do is you want to pull it through one, pull it through two, and pull it through the third one. All right, so you should have three more stitches on your project. One, two, and then the one that's uh, with the marker. So let's go ahead and single crochet. One. And then single crochet going through the back loop only. Single crocheting two. And then we want to go ahead and we want to single crochet in the next stitch, but back loop only. So let's go ahead and get that through there. Yarn over, pull it through. Yarn over, pull it through again. And then this is where we, what? We remove this stitch marker. We go and we put it through at the bottom of the hook here into that stitch. Now, what we're gonna wanna do is we're gonna wanna single crochet in each stitch around. So there should be seven. So let's go ahead and do that. Let's see. Let's see if I did this right. So we got back loop only, we've got one. We got two. We got three. We have four, this little tiny one right there. Oh my gosh, it's so small. There we go. Five. We have six. Oops, back loop only. And where the marker is, that's going to be seven in the back loop only. One last single crochet here. All right, so let's go ahead and take this marker off here. And then you're gonna put it to one side. Okay, so what we wanna do from this point on is, you wanna find that next stitch, which is, happens to be this one right here. 
And what we're gonna do is, in the front loop only now, um, what we wanna do is we want to chain two, one, two. And in the front loop only, we're gonna double crochet in the next stitch. So that's yarning over, going to that front loop right there. And then what we're gonna do is a double crochet. So we're going to pull that through. We're going to yarn over, pull it through those two, yarn over, pull it through those two. That is a double crochet. Then we're going to want to chain two, one, yarn over, pull it through two. And then what we're going to wanna to do is slip stitch in the next stitch. So that's e so easy. So what you're gonna do is front loop only. You're going to put it through that, we're, that that uh, that chain right there, that loop. Um, we're going to yarn over, we're gonna pull it through, and then we're gonna just yarn over. Oh, we're just going to grab that loop and pull it through that loop. And that is going to be your very first little pine cone uh, right there, your scale. So let's go ahead and do that again. We're going to Yarn over, we're going to slip stitch two. We're gonna do a double crochet into the next stitch, which is right here. So we're going to yarn over. We're going to go through the front loop only. We're gonna yarn over, we're gonna pull it through. There should be three loops on your hook here. You're gonna yarn over, you're gonna pull it through two of them, yarn over, pull it through the next two. And then you're going to chain two or slip stitch two there. Now you're gonna to want to find the next loop, the next chain right there through the front loop only. You're gonna to wanna to put your hook through. You're gonna to wanna to yarn over, pull it through, and then you're gonna take it and you're gonna just go right through the next loop. And that's your next little scale there. So we're gonna go and do that again. We're going to chain two. We're going to yarn over. We're going to go through the next loop. We're going to pull it through, do a double crochet, one, two, we're gonna chain two, just like so. So what we're gonna wanna do is, we're gonna find that next stitch down right here that starts all this. We're going to put it through that stitch, we're gonna yarn over, and we're gonna just uh, slip stitch that. So we're just gonna pull it through the next hole. Now we wanna turn our work over this way because we're gonna start following up the, we're gonna start going, following up the, the lines. That's gonna just keep circling up and up and up and up. So we're gonna start following these lines. So get your yarn all together. I gotta go over the hook here. Made this a little more complicated than what it needed to be. So what we're gonna do is we're going to chain two that's one, two. Now this loop right here, this next loop, you're going to yarn over. We're gonna do a double crochet right into that loop. You'll have three loops on your hook. You're gonna to want to go through two of those. Yarn over, go through those two. You're gonna to want to chain two. And then you're gonna to want to find the next loop over, which is gonna be this one right here. And you're gonna to want to go through that loop. Might take some finagling. Go through that loop. And you're gonna to want to yarn over, pull it through 
once like that chain two one two you're gonna find the next you're gonna find the next uh, loop right here and so you're gonna want to yarn over you're gonna go through that loop there you're gonna want to yarn over pull it through so you'll have two on your hook here you go through one go through it twice you're going to um uh single uh, you're going to slip stitch or chain two and then you're going to want to go ahead and find the next loop which is going to be this one here you're going to go into that next loop you're going to yarn over you're going to pull it through and then you're going to pull that through that one and then you're going to go ahead and you're going to chain two one two you're going to do a double crochet into the next stitch which is going to be this one here you're going to go through that that loop there you're going to pull it through you have three on your hook three loops you're going to double crochet into that then you're going to chain two and then you're going to go into the next loop right here so that's the next loop And you're going to slip stitch that one so just pull it through the next that loop you're going to chain two you're going to double crochet into the next stitch which is right here and you can see the lines how they just circle all the way down they just go all the way around all the way around so you're going to double crochet pull it through pull it through pull it through and you're gonna do this all the way around. You're going to chain two. Then you're gonna find the next loop, which is this one right here. And you're gonna go ahead and you're going to pull that through that loop. Then you're going to chain two, one, two. You're gonna do a double crochet into this next stitch here, right there. And you're gonna to want to pull that through do a double crochet to both of those loops, chain two, one, two, and then you're going to go into the next stitch, which is right here. So you're going to go through that. You're going to yarn over and then you're going to pull it right through that little loop there. There we go. And it's going to keep making the scales of your uh, of your pine cone as you just keep going round and round and round the circle. So it's just gonna keep going round and round and round all the way up to the top. So let's go ahead and keep doing that um, until you get to the last row here at the top right there. And I will go ahead and tell you what to do then. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, finish off this, this pine cone up to here. When you get up to here, um, uh, go ahead and start the video again. All right, guys. Okay, guys. So once you get to the very last row here, you're just going to stop. So you're just going to stop right there. And this is going to be the top of your pine cone. So how to tie off. What you want to do is you want to get your scissors. And you're going to want to go ahead and snip a pretty long piece off here and we're going to yarn over pull it through all the way through and you're just going to kind of pull it tight right there and that will tie off your pine cone see look how cute this is you guys i made a little pine cone um and i like to turn this into a um like this, like a nice little loop so that way you can hang it on a Christmas tree or whatnot, um, or just around the house. So what you can do is you can take your needle here, your yarn needle, and you can 
go ahead and let's get it through the eye of the needle. Neat little trick there. Boom, right through. And what we want to do is we can just go through underneath. Now you don't even need to have this. Um, you don't even need to have this if you don't want it. Now you can just take your hook and you can just go ahead and you can fill in, uh, finish by just, um, by just uh, sewing in your ends. So let's go ahead and do this. And I'll show you just a second what I mean by that. So I put the, the needle back through like this. I'm gonna tie a little knot here. And once I have a little knot there like that, now I'm just gonna go ahead and sew in some of my Now I'm just lifting up the uh, pine cone um, scale and I'm just going in and out underneath the scales. So that way you don't see it, you'll never see it. And then once I'm at a spot where I'm good, with it, go down one more, in and out. I will just take my scissors and I'll clip it off. Put those scales back down and voila, I have a cute little pine cone there. And there you go, there's your pine cone. Now for the other size, I'm going to put the um, I'm going to put the pattern in the description box, so that way you can do more than one size. You can do like this size, and you can do the the larger size, um, etc. So I will put that in the description box for you guys to follow. Okay, thanks a lot, guys. Okay, guys. So there you have it. How to make a pine cone. Um, I was really excited about making this video. I got some uh, really great ideas about some other videos that are coming up on Christmas ornaments and just some fun stuff. So I hope you come back to the channel. And uh, I'm gonna put in the description box the pattern for the stockier pine cone like this one, as, long, uh, as well as the longer pine cone like this one. So um, you can go to the description box and you can find those and write it down or co uh, copy, cut and paste. Um, and like I said before, if you haven't already, please like and subscribe and I will see you on the next crochet video. Thanks guys.